Welcome to another edition of the Brash, Sean's View Entertainment, right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe, where it's always prolific, consistent, and dedicated. You know, this isn't a video to the naysayers, the haters, the skeptics, the critics, and all those other things. No, 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 no. This is a retort to comments. This is a response. I'm all about being social. I'm all about responding. It's all about a reply. And that's what I'm doing with my subscribers and my viewers. Like I said, this isn't to the trolls and the skeptics and the haters. This is to the people that say these things day in and day out. And quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah, I know you have to have a thick skin to be on YouTube. I know you can't wear your heart on your sleeve here on YouTube.com. But there are some things that need to be said. And there are some things I need to get off my chest. You see it. Plain as day. Okay? Anybody could pinpoint it. Okay? I have a John Cena poster in the back. I have, have, I have not one but two. I'm wearing a John Cena Rise Above Cancer hat. I got a John Cena shirt right there. I have John Cena uh, DVDs, John Cena action figures, John Cena merchandise. Chain Gang is the clip. Wait a minute, Chain Gang. You know what? That's what brings me to this thing. I get told in 2012, 2013, and even 2014, Sean, you seem to have a good grasp of WWE. You seem to be a good talker. You seem to know what you're talking about, and you know we'll agree to disagree. But Sean, I can't watch you. Uh, you know. The, 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 thought, the mere thought of you being a John Cena fan, that automatically makes you lose credibility. Sean, I'm going to unsubscribe because you're a John Cena fan. Well, it's funny because those same people that are telling me that I lose credibility and that they can't fathom watching me any longer because I'm a John Cena fan and the thought that I have John Cena posters in my room makes them absolutely sick and makes them want to blow chunks to me is absolutely asinine because the bottom line is these same people that are saying this to me now wouldn't have been saying this back in 2003, 2004, 2005 when John Cena was spitting rhymes, raps, and rhythms. The bottom line is if we were talking about that kind of John Cena, the rapper Thugonomic Cena in this day and age and I had posters up, you wouldn't be saying that I automatically lose credibility. Now that John Cena panned this to another audience, now that John Cena is PG, now that John Cena is so-called shoved down your throats, all of a sudden it's a whole bunch of propaganda. You you don't like this. You don't like how I'm a John Cena fan. You like everything else about me, but the fact that I'm a John Cena fan turns you off. It turns you away and automatically makes me lose credibility. Well, I don't freaking think so because I am the best. I am better than all the rest. There is nobody on here that has the passion, the enthusiasm. Nobody has the respect. Nobody Nobody has the wherewithal to come on here day in and day out several times a day updating you on the latest and the greatest in the WWE on views and opinions and debates and skeptics and everything else that goes along with it. You want to deny me? You want to say that I lose cred? That I use that I lose credibility because I'm a John Cena fan, that I, I'm automatically marked off, that I have that of a brain of a 7-year-old or an 8-year-old or my mentality is of a child. Listen, I have a lot of children. I have a lot of kids who watch my episodes. And I'm not just saying this because they watch my episodes because I'm a John Cena fan. Oh, Sean, just because kids watch your episodes, you automatically you're a John Cena fan. You have to be a John Cena fan. You have to pander to John Cena. Just like John Cena panders to the audience. It is the way he is marketed. It is the way that he is branded. It's not my fault that I've been following John Cena before his WWE days. I'm going back to when John Cena was in OVW, Ohio Valley Wrestling. I'm going back to a time when John Cena was a nobody, a no name. I followed this man's career and just because he changed, just because the WWE uh, chose to go in another direction with John Cena, I'm, autom I'm automatically supposed to change. I'm supposed to be different. I'm supposed to just say the hell with John Cena. That's like saying you're a fan of the New England Patriots and then all of a sudden you move to another state and all of a sudden you say, hey, you know what? I'm no longer a fan of the New England Patriots. But it's funny because, like I said, those same people that are saying that I lose credibility for being a John Cena fan wouldn't have said that back in 2004 or 5 or 6. But now that John Cena's got a different image, now that the WWE is pushing him in another direction, all of a sudden that makes me look bad. I don't think so. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to lay down. And I'm going to do exactly what John Cena does, and that is rise above hate and rise above all the skeptics. And yes, I know I said that I wasn't going to talk about haters in this, but this isn't about haters. This is about the people that don't understand. This is about the people that don't have a grasp of what's really going on. John Cena is a character. John Cena is living a dream. John Cena is a man who is... A superstar that works just as hard as any other WWE athlete. A man that defends and commands respect. A man that helps children. A man that helps 
cancer victims all around the world, a man that tries to lift up people's spirits. John Cena is a man of value, a man of integrity, and that's exactly what John Cena is all about. And now you're going to come to me and say that I don't know nothing about the WWE, that I don't know nothing about the history just because I'm a John Cena fan. You may want to look back in your little history sheet. You may want to look up back in my other videos. You may want to look back and do some research on Sean's View Entertainment and what I mean to this damn website because there ain't a single soul on this website that does what I do day in and day out, night in and night out. Sean's View Entertainment is the end-all be-all. And by the end of the day, Sean's View Entertainment will rise above just like John Cena has above John Cena came from being a nobody to somebody and Sean's View Entertainment is going to come from being an absolute nobody to an absolute somebody so you keep knocking me down you keep thrashing me you keep trashing me and you keep saying that I'm losing credibility because I'm going to take all that credibility I'm going to shine up into one big ball turn that some bit sideways and sink it straight up all your candy asses subscribe